Hey, so the first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass DLC, whoo that's a mouthful, is finally here. And even though every track is technically an update or a remake of a previous one, that doesn't mean that Nintendo didn't manage to slip in a few new fun details and easter eggs, along with some returning ones that you might have missed before. So let's take a look at some of our favorite secrets and details from the latest DLC. And let's start off by getting Coconut Mall, because this place got a pretty significant renovation with new storefronts and ad banners. And on the storefront, see what I did there? We now have places like Banana Boy, Fireflower Curry House, Camix Bookstore, Daisy's Flower Market, Wendy's Homemade Donuts, and Shy Guy Records. But there are a few other stores that are even more interesting. Like the dive shop called Super Marine World, which is a clever play on Super Mario World, even featuring the same dolphins. Then there's Barrel Travel, which even uses the exact same barrel sprite from the original Donkey Kong Arcade game. And perhaps most exciting, for me at least, is Dino Dino Outdoor and Camping Goods. Because not only is the name similar to Dino Dino Jungle from Mario Kart Double Dash, but the dinosaur featured in the logo could even be found on that same track too. So could this be a hint of a new track coming in a future DLC wave? It sure would be a blast from the past. On a similar note, we also have Vanilla Lake Winter Sports Equipment, which of course is also the name of a previous Mario Kart track that might appear as future DLC. Next up are the ad banners scattered all over the place, and beyond the ones that you'll find at the stores that we already mentioned, you'll find others for Wendy's Car Interiors, Mega Mushroom Large Size Clothing, and even Toad's Toy Store, which of course references a building you can find in Toad Harbor. You might have also spotted these three beverage ads just before exiting the mall, each seemingly based on a different character, including Bowser, Daisy, and even Queen Bee, who was previously seen in Mario Kart 7. It probably doesn't mean anything in this case, as we have seen other characters similarly being advertised before without actually being added to the game, but it's still a nice touch. Finally, before we exit Coconut Mall, I have to bring up the brand new retro-themed wall that appears here when heading to the lower floor, featuring a classic NES brick texture and warp pipes. Yeah, it may not be much of a secret, but it sure is pretty cool. Moving on, we have Chaco Mountain, and you may have already noticed the fossils of fish bones along the cliff wall here. But I have to draw attention to the fact that one of them apparently died while trying to eat another smaller one. There's always a bigger fish. It's hilarious and morbid. Moving on, we have Ninja Hideaway, and although these two details aren't exactly new, they're just too cool not to share. Being the awesome artwork of the Chain Chomp here, and a Wiggler. Yes. Finally, let's head on over to Paris Promenade, where you'll find new ads for Peach's Cosmetics and Mario Motors since 1992, with that number being the year that the original Super Mario Kart released in. Neat! And there you have it everyone, some of our favorite secrets from Wave 1 the Booster Course DLC. And we can't wait to see what other secrets might await us in the future waves. So with that, thanks for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game of for more on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's DLC and everything else Nintendo Switch. We'll catch you later. Bye everyone!